we eating. I'm your girl Sandum. And I'm John. Uh, today we decided not to do a real big meal. We're just gonna fix sweet potato pies. Sweet potato pie. Go ahead, baby. No, no, I'm letting you have it run away. <laughs> okay. So for the sweet potato pies, I have eggs, ground allspice, ground nutmeg. Vanilla, a measuring cup, which I barely use because I hardly measure, but I will for the cameras. <laughs> Carnation <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sugar. And I found these sweet potatoes. These are huge. These are on steroids times three. I normally don't get these this big, but this is all they had at Walmart. I guess due to coronavirus going around and it wasn't many sweet potatoes, so that one is for the end thing. Yeah, so these are huge. So I will be making I'll have some sweet potato pie ingredient stuff left over. So I just have to make some more pies with it. Yeah, I think we have to be ginormous. Alright, so stay tuned. Alright. Alright, so what I'm going to do, I have my water boiling and these big old sweet potatoes are going to boil into soft for maybe about 45 minutes to an, I'm going to say about an hour because they're so huge. So I have some salt in my water too. So help me. <laughs> no, so help me. So we're going to put this in. And hopefully lighter. Yeah. Okay. So my sweet potatoes are boiled um, and peeled. I let them boil for about an hour. So now what I want to do is I'm going to add a whole stick of butter. I've eaten a lot of sweet potatoes 
pies. Excuse me, sweet potato pies. I'm about to call. And to me, if you don't know how to make a sweet potato pie, one of the ways you can tell is you slice in it and it's stringy. I hate a stringy slice of a sweet potato pie that's stretched like a hot piece of pizza. That ain't what you're supposed to be getting with that pie. No, it's not. That's the worst. And I can't tell you how many church functions I've been to in my life where well, that pie was so stringy, you almost needed the, the hymen before you finished it. Because it's hard to swallow, it's stretching, you know, and you're trying to be nice for the people you know. You know, especially if some of the times it was doing funeral when somebody might be trying to bring something for the family or something. You try to be nice. You know, eat, eat in front of, you know, it's just mix it, mix it up really good. How can they tell? How can you tell when it's done really good? I'm gonna mix it up a little more because I still feel a couple of chunks. But... So you're just looking for chunks? You just mm -hmm. do it for chunks? Yeah. How do you know if it's too watery? What do you do if it's too watery? I've never made it too watery, so I don't know. Damn. <laughs> I'm just being honest. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> so I, I don't know. Like that? Too Watery. I mean, I honestly just don't know. If somebody have a suggestion on what to do if it's too watery, then just let me know. But I've never made it too watery. So I'm gonna mix it up a little bit more, and then I'm gonna taste it to make sure it's not like it. I'm trying to speed up a little bit. Once you finish this mixture here, it's pretty much ready to get ready to put it in the pan and go to the oven. Right. Time. 
How do you get those that look like they got shoestrings in them? <laughs> I think it's the potato. I honestly don't know for sure, but. Put some time in it. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'll be back. Action. Alright, so I have deep dish pie crust. I always use deep dish. You can use the regular size, but I just like this. Yeah, we know we country. Yes, we know we country. I watch, go back and watch some of the videos and listen to how we sound. Sometimes I didn't realize the dialect was so strong. Most definitely. Okay, you see, I have some left over, so if you have some more pie crush, you can definitely make more pie. Alright y'all, until next time.